Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. So, in this video, we'll be meeting with, um, what's his name? Uh, uh, Gladwin Moon. Yeah. But I guess it was right there, but. Yeah, anyways, uh, we're gonna get Allah Hamar. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Amazing. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, a Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not. Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. If you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Ooh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which, incidentally, Rebellion. can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain Rebellion. more as we walk. Okay, then. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? <gasps> yes! Terrifying creature that can see the future. But oh. unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigodes. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. Mm -hmm. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I, I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. I'd be glad to help you, Mr. Moon. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. Finally. What about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh. I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> And I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. You gotta teach me, right? Okay. Finally. Finally. What is it? 
I guess you know, you can just yeah, perfect. Alohomora. Use L and R to move the sparks and rotate the dolls with both corresponding gears after. Use L and R to move the sparks into the thing. Alohomora. Rebellion. Oh, it feels so good finally having this. <laughs> hey, just be a key around here. say is that so uh, we're raising a generation of coddled cape flappers that can scarcely tell the difference between aconite and asphodel Disillusionment, like you can't, like, eh. Revelio. I gotta be like too OP, I guess. If, if like no one could ever see you. But. Revelio. Personally, I just think. It just it really makes the ability a bit useless. I guess it's more useful though than like just walking around without it. Okay. Okay, so two, three, six, eight. Okay, so that one's zero, and that one is
Ben e Naran. Oh wait, sorry, I'm stupid. I was thinking. Oh, okay. Oh, no, it's uh. Need that one. I kept thinking of eight. You just need the demi guys. There you go. Revelio. Is it gonna be down here at this? Yeah, it is. Okay. I don't know why it went up. It just looked like it went up, and I knew it was here. So. It's risky. Aloha, Mora. Too easy. Is this some sort of leprechaun room? Revelio. Is this place? Revelio. Jesus. I wouldn't be a prefect if I didn't think for you. What Damn trickery it. are you up to? Can't they just 
for Chip to kiss out Talisman. If Hermione is allowed to do it, then why can't I? Revelio. At least I collected enough stuff, so I'll just quickly go past. This must be the prefect's bathroom. in the hospital wing on account of my venomous tentacles. Revelio. Not at the moment, no. Plenty of other perils and pitfalls to send them my way, though. Well, I suppose I should begin my rounds now. I suppose Professor Black is best, Shit. but the students are terribly disappointed Ow. about Quidditch being cancelled. Oh my lord, seriously? Speed run, go. Disappointed about Quidditch being cancelled. Huh. I had planned to bet a few galleons on Hufflepuff this season. Oh. I know when I see a winning bet, and Ravenclaw would not have been that. Not this year, anyway. Revelio. Down here, down the stairs. 
Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxme, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Money? Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. How many statues are there to find? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Seems they're everywhere I look. You have your work cut out for you, if you were to ever unravel their meaning. You mentioned offering something in exchange for my assistance. I did. Uh, once you've brought me enough moons, I'll show you even more powerful forms of Alahamora. Not every lock is as easy to pick as the faculty towers. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Oh, and I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. All right, then. Trying to use the touchpad. Oh, did that work? Okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> Deke. Hey, ah, Deke. Deke is so happy to see you. And Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. Ooh, pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So, perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed. And luckily, Dee can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Come along then. Our first stop. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts, and she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Let's go, finally, and I miss with Sebastian. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to ah, assist okay. you in using the room Better to further your studies one. in that regard. <laughs> Please meet him there when you can. I've not heard from my uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Who's this? Did you meet me in the courtyard? Who's Adelaide Oaks? 
I've never met this person in my life. Ah, very good. Let's chill with Deke. I like this guy. Very nice guy. Let's go. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect. Deke loves an outing. I wonder if we'll get flying mounts from this mission. So cool. Ugh, beautiful. A nasty poacher. Deke hated Revelio. working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. Oh, we yeah, have arrived. I've been here before. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skeins nearby. It would be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. Revelio. Get all of you. Come over here. Get all the puff all right now. I will make you happy. Come with me. Something feels wrong about this. Like, but still, I look. I want to do it anyways. You will be happy with me. I'm forcing you to come with me. Professor Howen will never believe this. I'm totally the good guy here. You're not the only one who can roll away. Aha. I swear this is out of the love of my heart. Rebellio. Now I don't want one to be left alone. Can we got get all of them? Hopefully. Looks like it. I managed to rescue a puff skein. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. How many? Poachers capture puff skeins and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff skein. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobanol, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. Ooh, that sounds fun. Whoa. Revelio. You know what? Let's get a bit casual. Yeah. Where? Uh, 
I don't know why, but this purple coat, I really like it. Okay, that's pretty nice, pretty nice. Got cool. Got any nice hats? Perfect. <laughs> uh, let's see. How about this? Eh, doesn't feel right anymore. No, let's just wear that. I like that hat. I really love the purple coat though. Always felt good. Revelio. <gasps> Revelio. I have a clue why there's such a fuss over poaching. There's enough beast flesh for everyone. Yeah, until there isn't. If I wanted this little excitement, I'd have a job at a bank. They come after me, they'll rest in ten graves. One in Berlin. Revelio. Fools. Revelio. I've been here before. What the hell? Oh, I shall enjoy this. Where did I help? Okay, okay. I think we're supposed to walk here. Just, just give me a second, man. Ugh, these guys. Akio! Incendio! Expelliarmus! Very good. Okay. Do I have any talent points? I do. I, I bought this one recently. Pendo. Um, Stupefy. Just the momentum. Oh yeah, this one's good. Hey, buddy. Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The Jobanals are just here, in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deeg has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. What if I can't find any beasts in their usual habitat? Beasts won't stray too far from their homes. Look nearby or simply wait a moment and they should return. Do you have any advice on how I can rescue more elusive beasts? Levioso is not only helpful when rescuing flying beasts, it, it can also help rescue beasts that are generally hard to catch. Try using that spell the next time you encounter a small or otherwise elusive beast. Would you mind talking a bit more about what it was like working for your former master? Deke's master was not kind to beasts or to Deke. He saw beasts only as a source of income to be used for potion ingredients and labor and... Deke will not say more. But Deke is grateful to be at Hogwarts, 
where he can help care for beasts and make amends for the things his master made him do. Aw, poor Deke. Then I shall go and rescue a job and all. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. Uh, no. Love you also. Levioso. Don't. Uh. Revelio. Levioso. Accio. Levioso. Revelio Accio Revelio I successfully kidnapped, I mean rescued all the birds. <laughs> I rescued a job and all. Deke hopes your job and all finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of, a herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. Revelio. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon carbs gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. How did you end up at Hogwarts after working for your former master? Deke's prior master had no family, so when he died, all of his house elves were relocated by the Ministry. Deke was the most fortunate one, as Deke was sent to Hogwarts. Deke's friends were not as fortunate. Aye, aye, aye. I shall go and find a moon calf, then. Deke will be waiting for your return. Deke, what am I meant to be doing again? You shall try to find a moon calf. Since they only come out at night, you may have to wait a little while, depending on what time it is. Revelio. Oh, these things. No need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. Levioso.
Revelio. Levioso. Get back Levioso. here. Levioso. Revelio. Now, now. Levioso. Revelio. Levioso. Depulsa. Oh, no. Oof. Satui. Levioso. Revelio. Levioso. Okay, one more. Yes. Now go. Now I can have a whole bunch of. Oh, it's perfect. Revelio. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. You'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. Yes. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. No, no. Hogwarts map. Secret rooms, no requirement. Very good. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? What is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. I'm so glad they gave our characters like actual voices. You know, like dialogue and things like that. Oh. Oh. Whoa. It's amazing. Look at this. It's amazing. Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. Oh, my lord, I have all of them. They're all here. Back to me. Hold up, hold up. I can only have one for each type? Are you telling me I unneedingly 
Uh, oh, God. not that many of them. Oh boy. Deke thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. Oh, thank I God. Someone can I take some. care of them. Whew. Next time I look a huge mistake. Like a really big one. Deke thinks you are doing good work here. Rename. You should be named. Wait, this is your name. Uh, Reginald. Perfect. Hello, Reginald. Now for a brushing. Okay. You shall be named Terence. It's a boy or girl. Or, or Terence. Food for Terrence. Now a brushing for Terrence. And now you. What? Terminal. What's your name, you? Some food. Let's think. Huh. Blue and orange. Perry the platypus. <laughs> so your name Perry? Is it a boy or a girl? Oh, it's a girl. Wait, is that the girl or boy? Some shit. I forget. Uh. Hmm. Oh, I forgot to collect from the. Uh, um. Mooncalf. Oh, that's a boy. Okay. Got my dumbass forgot the symbol are. Revelio. Uh, how no Perry doesn't fit him.
Revelio. Your name. You shall be called Dressilda. Wait, no. Uh, actually, I like. See, no. I'll name the bird one Dressilda. What do I name you? Uh. Ah. Terence, Jabernal, yeah, Reginald, Oreo, the Puffskeen, I will name you. Mm. The Claire. Perfect. And you. Oh yeah, you be just still that. You know what? I've thought about it. Perry. You should be named Perry. Oh no, I've already fed you, you need to brush you. Oh, they're adorable. Here's some food. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now, Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Okay, see you guys later. Love you. I like blue. Where am I gonna put it? Here? I kinda like the here, but I don't wanna cover the painting. Ah. Uh. Ah. How about here? I like blue. Upgrade an item. Uh, how about this? I had a trait. That 
came out nicely. I should show Deke. <laughs> I used the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful! Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will! By rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Can I use the loom to enhance any item of clothing? The loom will only enhance clothing of a certain quality. Deke suspects you'll find more valuable clothing as you explore. Deke also knows that some of the shops in Hogsmeade can provide you with a variety of clothing for you to enhance. Thank you for your help, Deke. Ooh, we can... Oh, we can put stuff in here. Nice. After items. Ooh. Hedge fence. Stone fence. Stone bench. Ornate bench. There you go. Revelio. Oh wow, okay. I'm just gonna run around here for a while. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Have a good morning, day, afternoon, evening, morning, day, afternoon, evening, or good night. Bye everyone.